my friends, our third pumpkin is going to be a Kusama-inspired pumpkin. So if you've not heard of this artist, she's an incredible, prolific artist from Japan that uh, is very famous for dotted style pumpkins or just rooms filled with dots. Um, and last year actually, or this year as well, we had a huge uh, Kusama pumpkins exhibit at the Dallas Museum of Art, so that was really cool to see. So to, to start with um, the pumpkin sketch for the Kusama pumpkin, um, we'll start with little curves. So these are a little bit more elongated and thinner or less, more narrow at the top and wider at the bottom because that was kind of the style of her pumpkins. So we're trying to kind of mimic that a little bit. Nothing wrong with getting inspired from other amazing artists and then, you know, putting our own spin on it. So her pumpkins were kind of, you know, they weren't as rounded as you typically think of a pumpkin, so they were more a little bit flat at the top. So I'm going to sh fill in this shape now with oranges of different shades. Just playing around with it. Uh, maybe a little bit of yellow here. So it has like a nice little transition. All right, before we proceed to the next step, make sure that your sketch is dry. Now that our sketch is dry, I'm going to start adding those famous Kusama pumpkin. So I'm using a Mono Twin pen from Tombow, but any any black marker or pen that has waterproof ink will work. So I'm gonna start adding these larger circles kind of along the, the main parts of those pumpkin ridges. And then going to be adding little ones in between And you'll notice I'm just slightly, ever so slightly increasing these circles as I go towards the bottom because I'm trying to work along with the shape. You know, it's more narrow at the top and a little bit wider at the bottom. Super easy, but super fun sketch. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit more, a few more dots here. All right, so our pumpkin is done. And one last thing, I wanted to add a fun turquoise background. So I have this turquoise, beautiful turquoise color. And I'm just gonna quickly add some, some color to the background.
Squeezing some water, adding some color, super simple. But I wanted this pumpkin to pop, and so a, a really fun color combination is orange and turquoise, hence why I'm using that for my background. Okay, and before we proceed to the last step, make sure your sketch is fully dry. So the very last thing that I wanted to add was this fun little pattern in the background. I'm using a Posca pen, which is a acrylic based marker. Um, and it's a darker turquoise, so it will really pop against this background. And the way to do that is, um, I'm just adding like wobbly shapes that kind of resemble triangles. So Kusama was known for her pop art and these little intricate detailed shapes that surrounded her highly dotted pumpkins. So I just wanted to kind of play off of that and add this little fun little design element to it. I hope you give this tutorial a try and let me know how you like it. I think this is a really fun, fun little activity to try and just kind of relax and getting lost and doing patterns of repetitive line work. Um, but if you try this out, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again and have a great and creative day.